Here we have some word problems that deal with exponential functions. This first one says write an exponential function to model the situation and tell what each variable represents. A price of $125 increases 4% each year. Now when you have something that increases by a percent each year, you're going to have a, a, a standard formula here. There's going to be the amount that you start with, and that's going to be multiplied by 1 plus the percent increase. to the ye number of years power, to the time power, okay? We can uh, write that this way. Let's see, ours is a price, so we're going to say P equals, and the initial amount is 125. Now, 1 plus the percent increase, that's going to be 1.04, converted 4% to a decimal, so that's the 0 0.04. And let's put X as the number of years. So in this case, P equals the price, and X equals the number of years. So that's how to write an exponential uh, equation to model that. A lot of these are going to be very similar. Let's look at the next one. It says write an exponential function to model the situation, then find the value of the function after five years to the nearest whole number. A population of 290 animals that increases an annual rate of 9%. So we start with the amount, the initial amount, that's 290. We multiply by 1 plus the percent of increase, so 0 0.09, and we take that to the number of years, um, so we'll raise that to the fifth power. Now you might want to get out your calculator for this, because 1.09 to the fifth power might not be something at the t tip of your tongue. So we're going to press y to the x here, if I can find it, there it is, 5. So that's 1.5, and then we multiply that by the 290 and we get 446 point, yeah, let's just call it 446. So the number of animals after five years is 446 animals. All right, one more. It says write an exponential function to model the situation, then find the value of the function after five years. So another one, a population of 330 animals that decreases at an annual rate of 22%. Now this one's a little bit different because it's a decrease. So this 22% is really going to be negative 22%. So we start with 330, our initial amount. We multiply by 1 plus the percent uh, increase. In this case, it's a decrease, so we actually subtract. So 1 minus 0.22 is actually going to be 0.78. And then we raise that to the power of the number of years that go by, or number of time periods. So this is going to be 0.78. 0.78, y to the x, 5, and that's times 330, and we get 95 or so. So the population decreases to 95 animals after 5 years. So that's a little bit of work with exponential functions.